Yes, yes, people, welcome back to the Magpie Channel TV. On today's video, we're going to talk about the latest Newcastle-nated transfer rumours. There's one that's really gathering pace over the last couple of days, which is the main subject of today's video. Before we go into the transfer news and potential outgoings, I've got one question for you. Do you fancy something for free? Well then... Well, it's not actually free because you'd have to become a member. So, but for very cheap, do you fancy something for very cheap? As a thank you to my YouTube members, I'm going to start doing a lot more of these giveaways. Now then, this one is thanks to Odd Retro Shirts. They have sent me this and I said, you know what? I'm very unselfish here. I quite like the shirt. It's very different. Thankfully, it's in the name, you know, Odd and Retro. Everyone's a big fan of Retro Shirts at the minute. This company, Odd Retro Shirts, have put their little spin on it where it's obviously very different designs obviously you know something out of the ordinary not something that blends in even this this old warm-up top from last season you know very different with all the patterns in the background there the stadium the bridges all the newcastle landmarks are on this kit uh, you know a bit of a fan favorite from last year and on this kit i'm about to show you it's a very different design indeed with no further ado there it is how do you like the look of that bad boy eh i can't even say it am i showing it all right that is a Marley top, right there. Yeah? Marley. It's on the back as well. Marley. To win yourself this odd retro shirt, which it definitely is, it's one of a kind, I've got to give them that, you know, it's unique from the company. To win this, just become a member. The link is in the description to join the Magpie Channel TV. Uh, you can do so from just a couple of quid a month. I'm going to start really giving back to the members this season there's going to be more giveaways like this newcastle united giveaways i'll try and chuck some tickets in there as well some member only live streams and loads more to come merchandise as well tmc merchandise coming back but there's the marley kit if you want to win it comment on the youtube community post i'll put a post out there for the members comment on there i will pick one lucky winner for marley there you go and thanks again to odd retro shirts make sure you check out their website that will be in the video description as well. So, Newcastle United have signed three players this summer. Four, if you're counting Yankuba Minef, which we're not, because he's went straight on loan to Feyenoord. Uh, other quickly outgoings on that subject, the other young forward, Grand Kowal, has went out on loan to another Eredivisie club as well. So we're just shipping people out to Holland now. Literally shipping them straight on the DFDS over at Amsterdam from North Shields. So three major signings this summer. Started off with the main man, Sandro Tonali, 55 million. Then we've got Harvey Barnes in for 38 million. And then just yesterday, we officially unveiled Tino Livermento as our new 35 million signing. How many more? No pun there on, on Eddie Howe. He said himself that was going to be two more, whether that included Livermento or not. I think I took it as it did include Livermento, unless we delve into the loan market, which is a very strong possibility, especially for that right wing position. I think that's the only other place we will strengthen, but priority for the rest of this transfer window is a centre back. Eddie Howe has not been shy over the fact of creating competition in places. That's why you've seen Livermento come in. That's why Tonali's came in. And myself said, you know, the midfield looked weak, but then you had Longstaff have his best season ever last year. Willick was fantastic, which come back from injury. And now you look at that midfield with Elliot Anderson improving, Louis Miley still being there. That midfield is stacked now. So I don't think we need any more midfielders. Strikers, Eddie Howe has said we can't afford one, that would improve us. So he's not just going to sign one for the sake of it. So Isaac and Wilson are our two strikers. It's not much, especially if one gets injured with Champions League football. It's it's quite a worry, to be honest with you. Maybe something we'll look at in January if that did happen, you know. But uh, for now, that's going to be on the back burner until next summer, I would imagine. So, because if you look at the transfer fees at the minute for strikers, they are mental. You know, we're not going to be able to get someone who improves us below 50 million, really. Arsenal. They put a 50 million price tag on Balogun, who has played twice for the Gunners. Yes, he had a very good season in France last year, scored 20 plus goals. But yeah, their price tags, strikers' price tags are through the roof. Look at Man United paying over 70 million for that Hoyland, who scored nine goals in Serie A last season. So Wilson and Isaac were good there as long as they don't get injured. But then obviously we've got Anthony Gordon who can maybe step in. And we've got versatility along that front line, and that is where I think we would go again if we were to get another forward, and it would be a right winger who could potentially play across the front line. So the target is a centre-back. It's a right-footed centre-back. It's a younger Fabian Shaw. And this bloke here, Joachim Andersen, Joachim Andersen, Joachim Andersen, we'll just go with Andersen, you know, the Denmark international, big jock, 
He's the number one target now, if you let them believe several sources. We are in talks to sign Jochem Anderson from Crystal Palace. Loads of people are saying it. You know, if you put it in there, that's what comes up. And even Fabrizio Romano has said that we have been in talks with his agent over the course of this summer. He mentioned again the fact that Madrid try for De Sarsi from Monaco, who has now signed for Chelsea. So all attention is on Andersen, the 27-year-old who is literally a younger version of Fabian Scher. Plays exactly the same football as him, got in an eye for a pass, very comfortable on the ball, great positional awareness. However, the only worry for me is his lack of pace, just like Fabian Shaw. And that's why I said this summer, we needed a centre-back, a new right-footed centre-back, to partner Sven Botman to bring more pace to our centre-back pairings. Because both of them, to be fair, were getting caught out in America against Premier League opposition. You know, I remember Chelsea's goal, Jackson who scored it, got in between the lines far too easily. Um, Shea's obviously the wrong side of 30 now. So we need to strengthen that area. But Anderson, yes, he's very, very good. But he's, he's lacking that pace. So that's the only worry for me, even though I do like Anderson. The best thing about him is he's Premier League proven. He can slot right in. He's ready to go. There's none of that question marks over it. Like with Botman, will he adapt? Obviously, he's absolutely unreal, so he has done. But that's not always guaranteed. However, Anderson can come straight in. Straight. If we're signing him tomorrow, he could play against Villa on Saturday. Do you know what I mean? So he's, he's, he is that good. He is Premier League proven. He is ready. And that's a big bonus. Not going out there and you, you know, there's the Solis who's went to Chelsea. It's a risk. We've seen French defenders do well before and then come to the Premier League and do crap. Boom song. But with Anderson, he is very, very good. We've seen him on plenty of occasions, obviously. He's been at Crystal Palace a couple of years now. They signed him for £17 million from Lyon and he already played in the Premier League before that. He had a loan spell at Fulham. So he's ready. He's made for the Premier League. Not Champions League, though. Obviously, there was a lot of rumours that Eddie Howe wanted to bring in more Champions League experience and... He would do that with his new centre-back. I mean, we are still looking abroad as well. You know, you've got Atadibo, who has been linked as well from Nice, who is also linked to Manchester United now to replace the outgoing Harry Maguire. But um, Newcastle are definitely after a centre-back. I think we will sign one before September 1st when the transfer window ends. And if you let the believe reports and Fabrizio Romano, Anderson is the top target. He's on 75 grand a week at the minute at Crystal Palace. Palace are bringing in new players and are, are willing to ship players out. You know, they've, they've seen Zaha leave this summer. Uh, Elise has got a release clause. Someone's probably going to match that before the window ends. We should. Absolute quality. But uh, I haven't got the budget, FFP. But Anderson, the defence is a must. Personal terms aren't going to be an issue is what's been said as well. So it's just about getting that fee rate with the Eagles. Not Newcastle Eagles, the basketball team. Palace are wanting £40 million upwards. Newcastle are flirting with around 28, 30 million. Will we eventually go in and just pay it like we've had to do with our other signings like Barnes and, and Livermento? Really, we just managed to knock a few million off Southampton, who wanted 40. We got him for 32 with add ons. That'll probably be the case with uh, Joachim Anderson as well. You know, we'll get close to the 40 million pound mark. And for a player that's got Premier League appearances, you know, he's played for his country, Denmark, loads of times. He's a mainstay, he's solid. He's reliable and that's ideal. You know what I mean? It is ideal. Anderson, you can get him for a, a couple of years, do a very good job, and then when the money comes from sponsors and revenue, we can splash the cash from FFP standards. Then we can go in and get that next centre back who can play alongside Botman for years to come. Um, a younger model and someone who's a bit faster. So, Anderson, very much heavy link with Newcastle United. £40 million is the the fee that's being requested from Palace. Will we get this one over the lane? I'm very confident. I would say at least 80% that we will sign Jack and Manus. And I think there's real legs to this one. You're hearing that we've talked to Palace and the agents over the whole summer. So it's just a matter of time before we do put an official bid in, may get rejected, but then we'll go again. You know, that type of scenario plays out. But there isn't much time for that, that sort of thing. You know, like we've, we've did that all summer with Livermento. We're literally coming into the second week of August now and... There's only a few weeks left, not even that, until the deadline day comes. So if it's not Anderson, I think we will 100% sign a centre-back this window. Um, but again, we've got to be smart with FFP, so we'll wait and see. But Anderson is looking likelier and likelier as the days go by and count down towards deadline day. Let me know in the comments what you think of Anderson and Newcastle United. If it did happen, would you be happy with it? Who else 
should we be looking at and targeting as our new centre back? Remember, it's going to be on the right side. So I see a lot of people saying you know, we should be in for Mark Gee instead of Anderson. You know, the Crystal Palace centre back, but he's left side. That's where Botman plays. We want that right footed centre back. Anderson's that. It could be done. Remember, if you want to win that Marley Odd Retro shirt, become a YouTube member. The link is in the video description to join to become a member. Um, there used to be a join button next to the subscribe button in the video as well. Not sure if YouTube have shifted that. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. It used to be a blue button. If not, link is there. Get amongst it. Give yourself a chance to win it. And like I said, plenty more giveaways to come. But if you don't want to become a member, it's absolutely fine. But please do subscribe at least. That is, of course, free. Give the video a thumbs up. And I'll see you on the next one.